Hey all, Taves here, back with another Planet Zoo update video. So we are looking today at all the build pieces that come available in the new Africa DLC. I have to say I'm really, really impressed by this one. It's pretty awesome. We didn't obviously get any build pieces in the previous East Asia DLC, uh, so they have more than made up for it now. So we're going to jump straight in on this. We're going to start off with the off-grid pieces. I've tried to arrange these into some, some logical groupings. Uh, most things in this, which is really cool to see, are recolorable. I'd say the vast majority of things are recolorable. I've put a few examples down where those are, those items are recolorable. Uh, pretty much, the, I'd say about 95%, if not more. And actually kind of cool that we see a pattern where they tended to not do this very often with these sort of decorative items. Uh, so you've got various different statues here. What's pretty cool about this pack, definitely overall, is that so there's some fairly kind of specific, uh, certainly themed items, and then some stuff that's a bit more generic. So you see these little penguins and stuff. And um, we've got a whole bunch of little penguins and the awesome rhinos at the back there. You've got two different poses, a bunch of new uh, camels. You can see I've recolored those. I sort of stopped recoloring these things because actually <laughs> the vast majority of things. So this is probably one of the few things I've found that isn't recolorable. Most things are. Uh, next items we have are the tile set. These are going to be a big game changer. Um, so they have some preset tiles arranged in these kind of patterns. So you get this kind of yeah, bigger blocks. But they have a whole bunch of them that have got these nice patterns on. And again, all of these things are recolorable. So not just an overall recolor, but you can change each individual color there. Same with these. Um, so what you can go from is obviously something that's really colourful like that to just a plain white tile. So I'm someone that's created a bunch of different tile uh, buildings and that is so much simpler now. This is probably one of the, you even get down to this like single tile. This is probably now one of the smallest items in game that we can get. I think the possibilities for this are huge. So let's whip on. Um, there is, as I said, there's mostly mostly off-grid items in this set this is a bit of a pattern change we have a new bunch of plaster uh plaster pieces so these are building pieces but they're not gridded so they're still in the on off-gridded section um, and i put this down this is the existing smallest uh plaster piece we have at the moment so you can see in contrast some of these little block pieces are actually much smaller uh, so we have these kind of uh, round ones and cylinders. There's a few kind of trim pieces, this little step piece back there. Really, really cool. And then we start to get into some of the much more decorative items. So the stained glass, again, bear in mind, all of these are recolorable. Um, some possibilities for what you can do with that. I mean, that's pretty cool. Obviously, it's, it's not super transparent. I don't know if it's actually... Oh, no, it is transparent. You can see the other one back there. Uh, we have some little fence sections, which I think, again, is really nice. Potentially, you could make little you know, frames and cages and stuff out of those. Uh, we have some new arch pieces, a whole bunch of these new decorative arch pieces, which are awesome. Again, they're in that plaster texture. There's another one there. Uh, these little decals, so I've grouped these as decals and small bits, so they're not... They're not they're not super thin, like they're not the the smallest items, but they are. Yeah, they're all um obviously as I said they're all great for kind of decorative details. You see actually in the background there, that tower is actually using these as just kind of like mouldings and stuff, little decorative details on that building. Super cool. We also got a bunch of new plates. I think this is uh, and little kind of clutter items. Uh, I can't remember if these are recolorable. I don't think these are. Definitely these gold ones aren't. I think these maybe are. The potentially the, the the smallest item that we have in game now. This little kind of knocker thing, little star thing, kind of cute. Uh, it's got quite a flat background, so I can see that being used as kind of just a yeah, just a little decorative item, not as specifically a knocker. A new rope set. Uh, so this rope set is exactly the same in size. That's the original. I think we got that in the South America pack. These are basically just the same, uh, but with a color pattern. And again, are recolorable. So that's a real interesting decision that Frontier have made. They've clearly decided that 
let's just give them as much stuff that's recolorable as possible because yeah, they never made these recolorable and they've basically put the same thing in but with two different color regions on it. A little kind of group of some miscellaneous items. So we've got some new lattice, which is super cool. There's the existing lattice underneath it. Again, recolorable. Little bracket piece. Uh, what is supposed to be, I think, is a door, but it's actually like a really nicely textured piece of wood there. Uh, just for like walls and tables and all sorts of things. We've got a kind of little tower minaret topper. Uh, we have a awesome little set of rods. Again, these are like little post sets. I could use those for fences, but also for, for beams and such. And these have got actually got two color regions. So the, in fact, they've got three color regions, this one. Um, so this little dot on top of them is one color you can change. This kind of splash on the side and then the main body color. So there's a few of those. Uh, we got, I'm not sure exactly what these are supposed to I think these are like roof toppers. But again, you can go from uh, a multicolored pattern to a completely flat pattern. So these again are like a plaster thing. A whole bunch of columns and cones. Uh, now these are pretty interesting and actually you see a lot of these being used in the, let's just whip over here for a second. So this is one of the prefabs uh, that give you but that's interesting to look at that and think that's all the same pieces. All those column pieces are all these. Uh, so that's the power of what you can get when you like flatten the color out, basically. Those are kind of cool. Uh, interesting to see what their little decorative items around the around the zoo. Uh, a little kind of a little bit of uh, meerkat statue dealy. Pretty cool. Um, these are really nice as well. I'm pretty much going to say this all the way through because everything we've got here is really nice. But we have like an arbor set. So that's what it looks like once you've finished it. But the actual, the potential for this is really massive. So we obviously, we can do all kinds of stuff with creating trellis and creating um, like, um, yeah, carrying aviaries and anything. Obviously, we've got the, the the net pieces now, the cage pieces. So the need for these sorts of things is slightly reduced, but actually a really nice kind of timber set. Um, and really cool to see that. So it's got this kind of distressed texture to it. And actually, when I change the colors, they stay nicely distressed, which is really awesome to see. Um, this is kind of confusing. We're getting kind of to the end here, but this is kind of confusing. I'm not really sure what this is for. I've called it invisible glass. They call it emissive glass or emissive windows. But so it's basically like when you look at one side, it's got a texture to it. And then on the back, it doesn't have any <laughs> texture to it. It's just invisible. Oh, I missed out these last little bits I've missed out. are these little fence pieces, which are really nice. And they come with a little, a little fence post. So they're really kind of ornate. Uh, again, recolorable. Then what else do we have? We have the on grid pieces. So these are what you see being used in a lot of the buildings there in the backdrop. Uh, so these are back on grid now. So obviously you can use these with the existing plaster set uh, as just extra little details to create these little shapes and patterns and arches and stuff. And the little vents that you see a lot in this architecture. Last but not least is the path stuff. So we have... Uh, we've got three new paths. Um, so I'll just show you these in their, in their glory. So this one's really nice, and I really like the railing that comes with that. So that's obviously the railing that you have down there that was the um, that you can manually plop down. So you've got the curved bits. Uh, these come with a pretty uninspiring big fat column underneath. <laughs> uh, then we've got this sort of black and white checkerboard one with a fairly sort of standard Victorian-y looking, actually maybe that's nicer than the existing one, railing. This one I'm not sure about, uh, but kind of could be kind of cool. Kind of fun, I guess, for like kids' areas and stuff with the little bollards. Uh, and those, that one, I think, or is it that one? This one weirdly has the wooden um, supports under it, which I don't really know about. But And then the very, very, very last thing, I feel like I've said that several times, are the stuff that goes, so the path clutter, we got a new, uh, picnic bench these awesome little uh, benches so seat benches i'd love these to be just ploppable and not have to snap to uh snap to the the, the paths but 
a lovely little new bin a little umbrella which is kind of kind of funky looking again all of these bits are recolorable uh, and a couple of new light sets which i think again is pretty useful a lot of these things i look at you know as most people do look at see what you can use them for can you use them for a bunch of different things there is a whole load of new prefabs as you'll see all set up in the background do check this out guys it's definitely i think probably one of the best dlcs i've seen uh, the animals as well as these build pieces really make it for me thank you very much for watching my name is toves and i shall catch you guys on the next one take it easy